Hey guys, this is LogosMC here, and I am doing a tutorial on the Atomic Science Fusion Reactor. I'm doing these tutorials based on what I'm seeing people have trouble with in the multiplayer server that I play on, the Space Race. And I'm finding that a lot of people don't know how to build a fusion reactor. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on it. Uh, you see the these border stones right here. This is the size that the actual reactor will be, but you'll probably need more space than that. Uh, so, of course, you'll need a fusion reactor from Atomic Science. And to initially power it, you will need a uh, power. So, you might have want to have one at the ready. And I have these over here to show you how much power you can get. It will give you so much power you won't. It's literally unlimited power. This will also. I'll also teach you guys how to automatically create uh, uh or just run this without any maintenance at all, or at least little maintenance. So let's get started. So first of all, we're probably going to want to create the reactor first. So you're going to want to put your electromagnets around it like this first. And second, you're going to want to put your magnets around like this, two blocks apart from the first layer of electromagnets. So like this. And go all the way around. And these electromagnets are what create the heat for your um, for the water to boil, because fusion is just a way to get water to boil. So yeah. And then you're gonna want to put some more electromagnets on top. I'm not gonna show you guys the recipes for all this, because I'm assuming you guys have NEI and it's not too hard to look up. Uh, this is expensive, so this is pretty late game but it's a great way to have literally infinite power so and you want to do the glass this is optional but I mean it's more it's a little bit more expensive than electromagnets it just requires a piece of glass I think I don't remember but it's really cool to look at the uh, uh, plasma flow around inside the reactor so that's what I did for mine on my series, so it just looks pretty cool. And I actually forgot to get myself a building block, so I'm going to get myself some quarried stone real quick. And you're going to want to place blocks around like this. This is so that you can, actually you don't need these corner ones, so I'll go ahead and take this out so that you guys don't accidentally put those in. So you want to build the blocks all around this, and you're actually going to be keeping water on top of this. So water shouldn't be too big of a deal to get, but just letting you guys know that. And you want to get, ah uh, man, I forgot water too. Um, I'll just get still water and place it inside of here all the way around and on top also like this and you'll probably want to fill this in too if you want to maximize the amount of energy you create but if you really don't care and you can settle with virtually infinite powder then fine so it'll eventually look like this and now what you want to do is you want to get the fuel for the reactor so you're gonna take this um, chemical extractor right here you're gonna place it down like this and get it filled to fill up with water and you'll also need some power too so get that uh, energy cell set up and to pump it out, you're going to want to wrench this. And I'm not sure if it automatically does it, but if not, I'll do it in a second. And you're going to go all the way up here. And you're going to want to pump it directly into the reactor itself. Like this. 
and this is uh, the fuel for your reactor. And yeah, it's not going to automatically pump it. So pneumatic servo, put it in there, and ignore it. And then it'll pump out the deuterium in here. And now it says that there's 400 liters of it. Just one extractor should be enough to uh, to fuel this, so should be all right. And you just need a steady flow of water to get it. It's not too big of a deal. And that's basically it, except for the turbines and powering this. So for the turbines, you're going to want to um, get the turbines down here first. Um, I'm just going to place these here so it's easier. And place on the turbines like this. Turbines get uh, turn when uh, the water boils and the turbine is what creates the power. So that's where you're going to hook up your cables to. So finish it off like this. And by the way, this is by far the most efficient way that I know of so far. So this will get you a ton of power and it's virtually free just for the initial cost of all this stuff it's pretty expensive but definitely worth it so it doesn't matter if these um, fluid ducts are pumping into it because it won't do anything but I'm just doing it for looks and finish it off And if you want to maximize the amount of power you get, you can wrench these. Oh, wrong one. You can wrench the four corner ones like this, and it'll make a, a large turbine. And it acts as ten turbines instead of nine. It's not too big of a difference, but um, it's pretty much like adding four extra turbines. So if you do want that extra power, it's not really needed, but it's all right, and it won't hurt anything either. So you want to put uh, cables on top. It doesn't matter what kind of cable. I don't think you can use thermal expansion cables. It shouldn't matter. And you want to place it on top of all these. And if the chunks unload, sometimes these turbines will go disappear. So you really don't need them over these. But just remember that. Oh, I'm sorry. Just remember that if this chunk's unloaded, then you'll probably have to wrench these turbines again, and it's good to have the extra power while they're not full turbines. And almost done. And for this tutorial, I'm just going to pump it down into the hardened resin um, energy thing, energy cell, and... 400 art. I should have made this up for resonant. So I can demonstrate how fast it can get the power. So I want it to go from the back, the top, and to the side. And it's going to pump in from pumping the power on this side, like this. and you're pretty much done okay so it's already set for that okay and now all you have to do is pump into this and there you go you'll start seeing uh, fusion and stuff and it will I'll actually make this empty now Resume. Hopefully it makes some more. That should be right. In the back. Yeah, you can see it's already pumping in. So, 
I'm gonna time my, um, I'm gonna time this. I'm gonna be away for five minutes. When I come back, you should be around halfway full. So I'll be right back. I can. It's been exactly um, five minutes. So these filled up to 12 million. So that's a lot of millions. And the only reason they're not halfway filled is because this is uh, uh, exporting the max amount of RF that it can. So there's no possible way that these can charge faster than they are. So honestly, you're getting as much power as you can get with this. So it's definitely worth it. These are filling up as fast as they possibly can. It's not halfway in five minutes, but I mean, they're getting as much as they can import as fast as they can. So this is a really nice way of getting a ton of energy throughout your base. And I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If this helped you, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video.